G'day guys, welcome to Smash TV vs Dr. Wily. Uh, this is the first episode in our new series where I'm having a go at the Snupster Challenge and tackle all the Robot Masters from Mega Man 1 through 6 and 9 and 10 and try to knock them over using just the Mega Buster while not missing a shot and not picking up any scratches along the way. Uh, it's my first attempt at editing too, so don't expect fucking wonders, but I'll do my best to get better as we go along. Started with this stage because I was playing through it a few weeks ago and thinking about how easy it is. Not too many tricky jumps, no hard to hit enemies, and Galaxy Man himself is basically a piece of piss, so yeah, let's get stuck into it. So here we go, Galaxy Man. Okay, now this level is nice and simple guys, so it's very easy to get through. Uh, probably one of the only levels I actually got all the way through in my first playthrough of the game. Uh, you're going to find here that no, no tricky stuff at all. Uh, basically, the only thing that's going to give you any sort of problems doing this challenge in this game is uh, if you don't know how to time the Mets properly. Basically, you've got to keep in mind that you just got to remember the right distance to be at when you're going to trigger them to open up and fire at you. Uh, here we go, uh, we come to the first gimmick of the stage now. Uh, these little teleporters there, nothing too concerning. Oh geez, those roof cunts, I tell you what, I can't fucking stand there. Another roof cunt. You can actually let that one grab you and uh, drag you all the way through. Uh, he'll let go of you about there and another one will pick you up in just a second here. Uh, retarded moment, didn't know where he was coming there. And uh, those two can actually take you through and you're not going to sustain any damage as long as you know when to jump over the spike pits. Uh, here we go, another met here. Just get the timing right. And down. These flying saucers are never going to bother you at all. Like, you have to be fucking retarded to get hit by one of them. And uh, another little gimmicky bit. Very sneaky. Now, I play this bit like an absolute pussy. Like, waiting for this guy to come up. Could have just hop jumped over the top of him. Yeah, shoot that fuck ass as well. And here, uh, basically, you've got to follow the rule. Uh, don't kill anything you don't have to. Uh, there's plenty of stuff in this level is completely avoidable. Like these ones here, nothing to worry about. And that bit can be problematic if you haven't played the level before and not expecting the shield attackers to come at you as soon as you get up the ladder and into the room. Here we go, there's going to be another couple of roof cunts here. Oh, not that time, mate, not that time. I don't know what those robots are really called, by the way, but roof cunts just sounds kind of fitting, don't you think? Couple more meds. A little bit of patience goes a long way there. And coming into the final stretch now. Last little teleporter part. Could have sped that up by going to the previous teleporter there, but never mind. And here we go, we've reached uh, Galaxy Man's room. Okay, now let's get this fight underway. Now basically you're going to find this is a very simple fight here. This weapon he's throwing out now is the black hole bomb. It's nice and easy to manipulate it. Uh, basically as long as you keep moving back and forwards you're not going to get stuck underneath it at all. And uh, you'll notice that every time he comes down and lands I take two shots even though it's only going to take one point of damage. Uh, my philosophy on that is if there ain't no ding there ain't no thing. So here we go do it again. I'm going to do it through the whole fight as well. It's really just a force of habit but not a miss. Now when his black hole's coming down here, uh, you'll notice you should be able to get in at least two hits, maybe even three, if you can uh, manage to land yourself far away from it enough. So it's nice and simple, but it still doesn't move the fight along that quickly. Yeah, and the other attack he does is this charge attack, as you can see, I uh, just did it then, where he drops down, then flies across the screen at you, but it's nice and easy to stay out of the way of that. And if you Ensure that you land on the other side of the room to him. You'll give yourself plenty of time to react to it if you need to. There's really not much to him. Jeez, this bloke's about as useful as a mesh condom. I bet he got picked on a lot as well because he was never able to kill anything. Definitely one of the reject 
Robot Masters, but sad for him. Today's just not going to be his day where he turns that around because he's fucking dead. Nice and easy there. So we'll just beam Mega Man out of here and go get our new weapon. So if you haven't played this before, basically the weapon that you're going to get is the Black Hole Bomb, uh, which you saw Galaxy Man use, and it's actually a really cool weapon to have some fun with in the game. So if you're a rookie to Mega Man 9 and you've just beaten Galaxy Man for the first time, enjoy your Black Hole Bomb. So, Galaxy Man is fucking toast and we can move on to bigger and better things. If you like what you saw, then leave a like and even subscribe if you're feeling generous as your appreciation is, well, appreciated. If you didn't like it, then leave your dislike and go fuck yourself because making this video was a real struggle. If anyone has any suggestions regarding which Robot Master is easy enough to go after next, just leave them in the comments below and I'll have a crack at them. Thanks for stopping by Cats and Kittens, catch us all next time.